Oh, Kowali, did hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. Well, I asked you to ask me questions about holidays in December and you didn't disappoint. So, let's get to our first question. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood in December? Really? That's your big December question? I mean, you really think that counts? You think if you ask any other ordinary question, you just add the words in December at the end, that somehow it's going to count? It does not, my friend! It does not! What a way to start off these December episodes! How much wood would a woodchuck chuck in December? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Alright, well, I guess you're expecting an answer then. A lot. There. Not very funny, was it? Nope. But that's what you get for being a holly jolly prick. In fact, there's a question for you. How many pricks could one prick prick if one prick could prick pricks? The answer? I don't know. Why don't you ask the prick to ask the woodchuck question? You ruined my Christmas! Everything is gone now! <laughs> Why? Why did you have to ask that stupid ass question? I'm just trying to give you some good cheer this holiday season and you fucked it up! God kill me! God kill me right now! I'll kill you! I'll kill you right now! I apologize for that little outburst I had earlier. Just know that the problem has been dealt with. I recently hired some people to hunt down the person who asked that question, and they... How do I put this? Killed him and impaled him on a spike. Yes, I think that was a very good way of putting that. Ho ho ho! Is it me, or do the clauses have a midget fetish? Please, don't call them midgets, that word is not PC anymore. Call them elves. And yes, they have an unbelievable fetish for them. I should know, I visited them last week. And they do all sorts of speakable things to them. Like, sit on them, use them as furniture. One unfortunate elf was used as a toilet last week. I called him Larry, which made him seem much more human and less like an object. Which of course made it all the more humorous. Seriously though, call 911. Do it. What does Santa Claus have to do with Christmas? Surely this is a celebration of Jesus. Oh, well, of course it is. Everybody knows that. But what many people don't know is that Santa actually helped give birth to Jesus. You see, the archangel came down to the Virgin Mary and told her that she was going to have an immaculate conception. That, of course, was bullcrap. Santa raped her. You know how he's so good at sneaking into houses and never getting caught? Well, what do you think he does while he's in the houses? Just eat milk and cookies? Oh, oh, oh you naive idiot. He's a rapist, and an unbelievable one at that. So he broke into Mary's home, did her Santa style, and thus gave birth to our Lord and Savior. That's why he's known as the Son of Claus. Now I know what you're thinking. If Jesus is the Son of Claus, where did Santa come from? The Cabbage Patch. <laughs> Have you been naughty or nice? I've been naughty. <laughs> On the 12 days of Christmas, what did your true love give to you? Well, I'll tell you. Nothing. Ungrateful bitch. Can a dreidel be made out of something other than clay? Yes, it can be made out of elves. And why haven't you called 911 yet? What did you ask Santa for Christmas? Oh, well, I asked what I always ask for Christmas. Goodwill toward men. But not women. Those whores can suck it. They think just because they gave birth to us that they deserve equal rights? <laughs> Fuck them. They don't even have penises. <laughs> the nerve. When I was younger, I always thought one was going to grow out of there. <laughs> it never did. Well, except that one time, but she was a freak. A freak that I will love forever. I love women. This 
This December, I'm planning to commit suicide. But since Christmas is coming, I'd like my suicide to be in the spirit and cheer of the holiday. So my question is, what are the best Christmas-themed suicides I can commit? Oh, oh, there's plenty you can choose from. Decapitation by candy cane? Have Santa sit on your lap? Have someone throw a snowball at you with a grenade inside? The Nutcracker? I think that's self-explanatory. And of course, sodomized by a reindeer. Now, I know you may think that won't kill you in the long run, but after you get in your head that you've been sodomized by a reindeer, you won't be alive for long. Incidentally, Rudolph's nose is not the only thing that glows. I'm going to hell. Eggnog as a sexual lubricant. Yay or nay? I don't know. Let me try it. Oh. 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 If you could make up your own December holiday, what would it be? Kwanzaa. This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you ask it.